There are many arcade games out there for the game StarCraft 2. I'm here to help you pick out which games you do want to play and which games you might want to stay clear of. This is Tuna's Fun or Not. <laughs> This time we're going to be looking at the popular arcade game Nexus Wars, which was made by Lil Man. The objective of the game is for your team to destroy the opposing team's capital building, the Nexus. And for you to achieve that, you must first start constructing buildings, which, in turn, continuously produce units. To construct the buildings, you need minerals, which you acquire in waves over time, of which the amount is determined by the buildings you have constructed previously. The trick is to find a counter to the certain unit composition your opponents are making. And since this arcade game uses the units from the actual StarCraft 2 game, the counters are, for the most part, the same. Once the game progresses a bit, you can create the Upgrades and Heroes building where you can upgrade your unit's passive abilities and make hero units, which you can actually control. They are the only units other than your starting builder to have active abilities. Even though all your upgrades are located in the Upgrades and Heroes building, you are given the option to research certain upgrades at the actual building where the units are spawned. Alas, they are only associated to the unit that is made by the building. <laughs> If forbid the game does not seem to be going your way and you find yourself with enemy units outside of your base, there are some defensive abilities at your disposal. The cannon, which you can build inside your base, that automatically shoots enemy units in its range, which is also upgradable. And the nuke, which destroys every unit in its vicinity but is only usable once per game, per person. There are also the less known nexus abilities. The scanner sweep, which reveals an area of the map and lets you detect burrowed and cloaked units. Chrono boost, which speeds up a building by 50% for 20 seconds and the almost never used point defense drone, which shoots down enemy missiles for a short duration. Once you learn the basics of this game, it becomes really fun and easy to play, and I suggest it to pretty much everyone. I give this arcade game 4 stars out of 5. <laughs> this has been Tuna, signing out.